<laughs> What's up guys? It's dark outside, so you know, what a better opportunity to come into the shop and install some lighting. You know what I'm saying? Monica, what lights are we putting on the Bronco today? BMC lights. BMC from lights. Next Gen Bronco. What's that? What's BMC mean? Me either. We're gonna figure it out. We got on the table today BMC lights. They got the rigid light, but they're made by BMC. And is what these do is we'll grab one and show us where it goes. Where does it go? Right off the off the hook. Right, here. right in the danger zone is what we're gonna call it. Right up there. Right there. We well, gotta move move your hand. I'm gonna zoom in. So your light sits right in there off the tow hook and you get two of them. The cool part is the wiring on these lights, well, we don't really know how to do it. They send you, you know, pigtail and then, a, you know, good luck knowing where that goes. But then they send you a mess of wires. So let's figure this out and get this installed on the Bronco. What do you say? Let's do it. So now you got to be thinking, why would you be putting this light right in the danger zone? Well, I'll tell you what. We're here to find out how good is this light in the danger zone. Because being right under the bumper, well, you know, rocks. I mean, we've hit the bumper before, you know. I don't know if we've hit. Oh, we've hit under the bumper. That's for sure. <laughs> so, we want to see how well are these going to hold up on off-road situations we'll find out we're gonna find out I tell you what though they are constructed like really nice it's box steel tube stuff heavy you got a good rigid light inside there plus you get some side shooter lights you know that's cool zone lighting zone lighting well the cool part is we've been playing around we laid the wire out all along the bronco and we're trying to figure out how to actually wire these our box didn't come with any instructions in it, so we literally just figuring it out. We're winging it. We're winging it. It's what we do best. So, it's what we figured with the key on and then taking a wire and just like poking it around in the trailer hitch, we figured out some things. So the white wire that's coming off of the light, if you want it to be a runner light, all you gotta do is put it on your runner light pin and you get a pretty amber running light. Now I'm pretty sure you can option the running light portion in like white and blues and stuff. Blue. Red. Just amber, I think is amber? it not? Yeah. Is that it? I think that's oh, it. Oh I thought there was options. Those are those are good. Blue lights are cool. Blue lights are cool. <laughs> but we got the amber lights. So it matches the front end, which is cool because you know we got amber lights up there for runners. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie a runner light into the runner wire that's already, you know, in the trailer hitch portion of the Bronco. If you didn't have the trailer hitch option on your Bronco, you can just tie it in with your tail light, you know, runner light, because you got runners in there too. Or if you really wanted to, you could run that all the way to an auxiliary switch if you wanted. But more importantly, our runner light's cool. These are meant to light up the behind you on the trail. So, we get that hooked up. Let me show you. Just keep an eye on this light. I'm going to show you how bright it is. Hold on. Here it comes. That's pretty good. You know, lights up the, the rearward. I'm blinded. By the light. So our amber light is going to be the runner light. Because we wired up our fifth, you know, spare tire light, we're just going to tap in off that wire. These pull like two amps. Nothing. Four total, I guess. But then, our white light, the blind thing light, you know, to light it up, we're gonna tie that in on auxiliary four, is four. what we're deciding. Because then, you're out on the trail and you need the, you know, what's going on on Knox four. They send you a sweet wiring harness, so that's the first thing we're gonna do is run the wires and uh, get it all into position or something. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. So what we got going on is we got our wire drop for the passenger light and then the wire drop for the driver's light then got the cable 
routed up the whole entire length of the Bronco. Don't worry, we'll tie it up. It's got to be tied up. Then we dropped a stick down through the wheel well and then pulled it up here. They give you plenty. I think their wiring harnesses is like meant for a truck because it's, it's, I mean, there's enough of me, you know. You got plenty of wires, is what I'm saying. So now, Monica gets to lay under the dirty Bronco and tie up the wire. Mm -hmm. I'll get you the zip ties. Now, the easy part is getting your light, this is the wrong side, attached to the Bronco. All you got to do, pull out your two bolts, the light goes on top of your bracket, insert your tow hook again, and then your light's mounted. Fun fact for you Bronco purists out there, Ford stopped giving you two tow hooks, you know, one, dose, in 2022. 21 models only had two hooks. What year's our Bronco? 22. Yes, a 22. I got two. I need the other light, please. So now that we've got our light mounted, I'm going to try to get this wiring done up for our runner light. Just going to crimp a butt connector in here. Butt connector and then jump on to the other side now believe me I'm just as curious you know this is in the way danger zone so let's go run a trail see what happens or three or five or all of them and give you the feedback you need to know on if these are gonna hold up a lot of guys put these on on trucks because when you're backing up to a trailer, you need that extra light to be able to see. We're putting them on because we want to test them. So let's test them. Welcome to the underside of the chassis. Got our light mounted up. Wire runs up over the top of the frame rail. Comes down right here. I've tied in our two uh, running lights, amber lights to this wire that ultimately will tie to the trailer hitch wiring but then I took the other wire and ran it through the frame coming over to the other side where it comes out right there so now wiring for that lights protected and then over here it's like an organized mess I just wanted to keep it away from the muffler so we didn't you know melt it so now let's hook up this wire and then we're done wiring under the Bronco. Then we go under the hood. We are attaching the ground right here next to the auxiliary wiring. And then the power for this one is going to go to auxiliary four, which is the brown wire right here. And in theory, when this goes together and we hit the magical button, the lights in the back are going to be white. White lights. Bright white Bright lights. White lights. Should I give a spoiler alert? Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. We got boxes coming your way for an install video. Whatever could they be? Oh, I don't know. We'll just scoot around on that idea. It's going to be awesome. There they are. In the danger zone. They actually look pretty good. You don't immediately notice them, which is nice, but they're there. So one thing that they do send with the kit is this little pigtail. And I think, we think, you know, from reading on the internet, if you hook this up with the white wire that's already provided on the light, then you can hook this up into your blinkers, we think. Because then, you know, you get your, when you're turning, whichever way. But they do send this, and, well, we're not using it because we're wiring it up to our auxiliary switch. So, the cool part with this kit is you can kind of just sort of do what you want to do. It's not, like, specific. You have to do it one way. You decide. I don't even know if we're doing it the right way, but they worked when we tested it. So, I think we got it figured out. 
Don't screw it up. If you screw it up, well, no, because it won't work. It won't work. <laughs> Is it going to work? Bad. I hope so. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that makes two of certified. us. Certified. Certified? Who needs certification? You just got to get off your couch and go create this as adventures, you I'm know? adventuring. We're adventuring. With wires. <laughs> so it's worth mentioning, if you order anything from Next Gen Bronco Parts and Accessories, which that's where we got these BMC lights from, you will have included in your order this electrical tape. Now, it's not your standard electrical tape, guy. This is the stuff that's like OEM factory. It's kind of like the felt tape, you know, kind of mesh stuff. You buy anything lights or anything electrical, we're going to include this in your order. Or you can just jump on and buy this on its own thing, you know. So check it out. It's a cool little things like that that make the difference of who you're getting your Bronco parts from. Go check out Next Gen. Moment of truth. Wiring's done. What do you think? What's it going to look done. like? It's bright, hopefully. Hopefully my wiring worked. Hopefully. If not, well, I'll know. Ignition and auxiliary number four. Tell me it works. It works. <laughs> it's like daytime back here. Lights up the early Bronco like mad. I tell you what, those are pretty darn bright. Plus it retains, I don't know if you guys can see it, but them are bright, I see spots, and that's it. It also retains the orange amber halo and gives you side beamage. That's cool. I don't know if I can the can I can't see the screen on the camera. Everything's just a little bit like I can grab them. I do like that it adds extra little bit of, you know, pizzazz. You know, that's cool. But uh, I'm still skeptical, you know, putting those lights out there in the danger zone. We just, we're going to find their limitation. I guarantee it. Those rigid lights are bright. But when you have just the runner, it turns off your side beam light. So I think they're going to be good off-road, but I'm still seeing spots everywhere. Try not to blind people. Yeah. <laughs> the cool part we decided is that, you know, when the guy behind you has his high beams on, Number four. You can you can bright people. We'll just you. let them know. Hey, you're being a you know, a, 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 a you know we're just we're not, it is a family friendly show. All right. Yeah. Go Where check them out these? for yourself. Nextgenbronco.com. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, tell everybody where they can find these BMC lights for themselves. Next Gen Bronco parts and accessories. Link is always in the description below for everything that we do. For now, get off your couch. Go create an adventure, and we'll see you next time. Rattle, rattle, adventures. David and Angie, this one's for you.